Hi guys, so let's look at this next question here. Uh, find the minimum value of 4 is to sin x upon plus 4 is to cos x. Okay. So again, it is not uh, mentioned uh, anything about the uh, basically nature of this quantities like they are uh, positive or negative like that, right? But we should know that the, all these exponential functions are always positive. For example, 2 raised to x is always positive, right? No matter what value of x we put here, let's say put x equal to minus 2. That becomes 1 by 2 is square, that will equal to 1 by 4. So you cannot, any exponential function, you can never make it negative, right? These exponential functions are always positive, okay? So basically, uh, so what I'm trying to say is 4 raised to sin x and 4 raised to cos x are always positive, okay? So once this is always positive, they are real positive, positive real numbers, we need to find a minimum value. So again, it's simply the case of am and gm, right? So what happens where we have got two quantities here, 4 raised to sin x and 4 raised to cos x. Uh, and their arithmetic mean should be greater than or equal to the geometric mean. Now there are two quantities, what is the arithmetic mean divided by 2? That means 4 raised to sin x plus 4 raised to cos x divided by 2 is greater than or equal to the geometric mean. That is 4 raised to sin x into 4 raised to cos x raised to 1 by 2. Okay. That's the that's square root, right? So if I solve it, I'll be getting 4 raised to sin x. So 4 raised to sin x plus 4 raised to cos x. Now 4, we have to find the minimum value here. So now 4, it becomes basically 4 raised to sin x. So let's, let's, say, let's take this 2 here actually. It becomes twice of 4 raised to sin x plus cos x, right? Okay, that is raised to 1 by 2. Uh, what happens is, any anything we have like this uh, uh, for example the property is like a raised to m into a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n Anna. so uh, this is a raised to we have just added the powers here right now i need to i need to find the minimum value of this part so to minimize this right this is always greater than or equal to this part i need to minimize this part also okay now, how I can minimize this part here? So 4 raised to sin x plus cos x it is. And actually, if I if I multiply this 2, that will be greater than equal to uh, 4 raised to sin x plus cos x divided by 2. So I, I can write like this, 4 raised to sin x plus cos x divided by 2. Okay. Now, that's the funda here. Okay. Uh, so now, I need to find the minimum value. So I need to minimize in the right hand side the unknown quantities are sin x and cos x. So I need to find the minimum value of sin x plus cos x. So sin x plus cos x, its minimum value I need to find. Okay. So basically, uh, we should know that the minimum value of uh, sin x, uh, let me just write like this, a sin x plus b cos x. Okay. Its minimum value is minus under root a is square plus b is square and its maximum value is plus under root a is square plus b is square okay so a sin x plus b cos x its minimum value is and minus of under root a square plus b square and its maximum value is plus under root a square plus b square so i need to minimize this part so what is the minimum value here so its minimum value will be minus uh, so i can write here that sin x plus cos x okay so sin x plus cos x, its minimum value will be equal to, that is under root minus a is square plus b is square. So a and b are one here. That is minus of under root one is square plus one is square. That is equal to uh, minus root two, minus root two. Okay, so I can put this minus root two here. So I'll be getting answer two is here. So four of minus root two by two. Uh, 4 raised to power, 4 raised to minus root 2 by 2. Okay, now I can solve this a bit actually. Okay, so what I can do, uh, this minus, uh, this is actually 2 is square. So I can just write here, uh, this is actually 4 raised to minus 2 by 2. So 4 raised to half. Okay, just look at this part guys. Now, what is 4 raised to half? So 4 raised to half is 2. So I, I'm talking about this half, this half here. Okay, this 1 by 2 is 2. So I can write here, this is 2. So 2 into 2 into 2 raised to minus root 2, I can write. 
and now I can just add the power that becomes uh, this is always greater than equal. This is equal to twice of one minus root two. So what we are trying to say is that four raised to sine x plus cos x, it's it is always greater than equal to two into two raised to one minus root two. So therefore, its minimum value will be so four raised to sine x plus four raised to cos x. Its minimum value will be a uh, two raised to one minus root two. That is the answer here. Okay. So again, a very fine question. Couple of concepts involved: a, m, g, m, along with this one also. That what is the minimum and maximum value of a sine x plus b cos x? So we should know all these things apart from few properties of indices and inserts. How to solve it? So a question involving multiple concepts. A typical CAT level question. Okay. So I hope all of you got this. Thank you. And also, guys, so any of you are looking to join uh, any classes for the last five six months of your preparation, so we have got everything covered at An Academy. Uh, I have been working a lot on these projects of uh, building e notes, especially that is e notes now will be available for plus and iconic people. It is going to be launched next month only, so all the modules will be launched in next one month, and it contains some good high quality questions, complete theory, lot of solved examples. So basically, it is my project only. I'm working on that, and. Uh, there is no book needed if you join uh, join classes apart from that there are 25000 plus questions in the app okay so in the app and website so you need it no need to practice from anywhere else we are now giving 50 plus full length mocks in that around 30 there there will be 30 cat mocks working on these projects guys okay also there will be physical notes available for the iconic people okay but all the notes are available in the e new format e view format for all the plus and iconic people so i've been sharing lot of this posts at uh, all the whatsapp chats uh, or uh, the pe uh, people uh, the students feedback on my facebook groups on community post in rodha so around 90 uh, six, 98 plus percentile around 64 people have scored 90 90 plus percentile out of that around 36 people have got 99 plus percentile so every lot of means there are some uh, in ima there are four, four students going this year in imb already five are studying four more are sorry seven are studying four more are going so all this great results we are putting lot of effort so if you feel that your preparation is uh, not on the right track and you need a good guidance good mentorship you can join this if your preparation is on the right track then you don't need to join any coaching you can just follow the mocks and uh, my free classes at an academy so i take lot of free classes also a lot of practice sessions i take in high and those are high quality classes so those that you can take that call you can take actually uh, based on your need okay so if you avail to this uh, if you wish to avail to the subscriptions you can use my referral code ravi roda so any any link you can uh, any link you can click and you can go for subscription uh, my 3000 quant questions are available there lot of high quality questions with all the courses from basic to advanced all the recordings are also there i take daily live classes also plus 700 lrdi sets are there till now and all these are in recording forms because all the live class which what about i have taken all those into recording forms so lot of people are con covering these class at 1.5x and uh, they are clearing all these exams right so if you wish to avail that so you can avail otherwise just you can take mocks also mocks and then you can go for a uh, free classes that is extra practice classes i take right so based on your need you can just follow it okay Thank you.